Welcome back, welcome back, and you know, glad you all could come back, children of all ages, hallelujah. Glad you could come back to hear the word, not only hear the word, be doers of the word, glory be to God, hallelujah. We are truly blessed, we woke up this morning, but guess what? We didn't wake ourselves up, it is Father God that woke us up. I hope when you woke up this morning, you gave him all the honor, praise, and glory, because it belonged to him and only him. We didn't wake ourselves up. I hope you told Father God, thank you. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With that being said, I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. We're going to go right into prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you to say thank you, my Father. We want to say thank you. While we have our breath, while we have our being, while we have our cognitive mind, Lord God, we want to say thank you. Because we know we owe absolutely nothing. We can do nothing of our own. We're like filthy rags. Glory be to God. But it's because of your love and your grace and mercy, Lord God, that we are still alive and well. Glory be to God. And um, it's because of the blood of Jesus, the shed blood of Jesus, that we are able to breathe this day. Because truth be told, we all belong somewhere else. And you know where we could be right this day. For all the trans sins and transgressions that we all have done. Forgive us, Lord God, where we fall short. But we know where we where we would be if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for laying down your life for us. Hallelujah. You said there's no greater gift than for a man to lay down his life for a friend. And you call us their friend. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God. We thank you for your outstretched arms. We thank you, Father God, because you are our Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth. You are an awesome God. You are truly awesome. You are God, almighty, powerful God. You know all things. You're almighty, pow all powerful, knowing God. You are. And you stand alone. You are omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. There's no God before you, no God beside you, and there will be no God after you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You reign it. You are in charge, always have been, and always will be, and you have the victory. The victory is already won. It's only a matter of time, and it's your will, your way, your time, and glory be to God. And you, and you, hallelujah. And you and us and we and you, we have the victory. You and us and we and you, there ain't nothing we can't do. And you and us, you strengthen us, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you because you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. You are the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me, saith the Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we know that you are the author and finisher of our faith. Glory be to God. And Lord God, we know that you are not the author of confusion. So with that being said, if you are confused, know that it's not of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all must stand up for holiness and holiness only because that is the only thing that matters. Without it, no man going to see God and no man going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Holiness only is the only thing that matters. There's absolutely no excuses and no compromising. Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. You better get your houses in order while you have the opportunity. Get your houses in order now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we repent for all our wrongdoing, past, present, and future transgressions. We are crucified our flesh and we don't live a life of sin. But we all have fallen short of the glory. Not one is good, not one but God. Please forgive us for we fall short. And that's on behalf of every generation, past, present, and future transgressions. We repent and we pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if we unknowingly or unknowingly open any doorways or interways of evil, they are now closed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any evil curse, evil generation, or curse, evil covenant, witchcraft, spells, voodoo, any and every form of witchcraft, any and every form of sorcery, they're all broken. They're all broken right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will take them all, bind them, and cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as the Lord saith, I suffer not a witch to live. Lest ye repent and turn from your wicked ways, ye shall all likewise perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We confess Jesus Christ is King of kings and Lord of lords. We proclaim Jesus Christ, and he alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus was crucified, and he was resurrected from the grave, resurrected from the grave three days later. Yes, he is risen. He sits on the right hand of the Father in majesty, interceding for us, pleading for us. He is our mediator. He is the reconciliation between us and the Father. There is no other way to salvation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Y'all, thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. 
Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus over all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, lovers, and friends. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask may you please place a head of protection, not only a head of protection, a firewall of protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, lovers, and friends. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask may you please bless all the listeners, bless those in the body of Christ, bless all our family members, lovers, and friends. Only you know what we have need of, Father God. It is your will, your way. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. In every situation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we don't know what is formed against us will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you because you loved us when we could not love ourselves and you love us in spite of ourselves. Thank you, Father God, because you are a keeper. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. You are still with us even this day. And we love you, Father God, with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for your holy angels that encamp around us and watch over us day and night, even while we work and play and while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, for the remission of our sins paid in full. Though we know we need to work on our own salvation and fear and trembling of the Most High, and we must study to show thyself approved. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, also known as the Comforter, that guides us to all truth. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all the world to come to repentance. This world needs to repent right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all to come to the truth, that they would give their life to you today before it's too late. And if they've given their life to you and they've fallen away for whatever the reason may be, may they repent. And turn from their wicked ways and receive you into their life to be their Lord and Savior today. The kingdom of heaven is at hand and we don't have time. We wish as you wish, Father God, for none to perish. So we ask that you reach out to any and all enemies necessary. And that includes the lukewarm Christians, the backsliders, those that honor you with their mouth and their heart is far away. And the lost souls as well. Father, we have many family members, loved ones, strangers and enemies that are still out there. That still needs to hear the word. Lord God, only your, it's your timing. But Lord God, we pray for all to wake up. Shake them, wake them. Shake their very soul, Lord God. Wake them up before it's too late. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Help us, Lord God, to be bold and stand up no matter what. Stand steadfast. Don't move to the left or right. Don't be persuaded. And don't be moved by doctrines of devils either. Let us stand upright on your word. Steadfast on your word. Your word is spirit and truth and it gives life. Glory be to God. Let us be bold as lions and preach the gospel in season and out because we're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God and to salvation to everyone that believe it. To the Jews first and also to the Greeks and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us all open our mouths, get that blood off our hands. You may save a soul, even pull it out of the pits of hell. On the other hand, if you're ashamed, if you're ashamed, open your mouth because you're worried about what somebody's going to say and what somebody's going to think. The Lord shall be ashamed of you on judgment day in front of his Father. And that blood will be required on your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. And also the Lord is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. These babies, these children have something to say. These young children have much to say. Don't shut them up. Don't mock them. And don't discourage them. Let them be bold. Let them come forth. Don't stop them from coming to the Lord. Don't stop them from coming to the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please don't do it. Glory be to God. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if you ask me, you please help us to guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times, because he was waiting to pound sleeping at the door. We not let them in. We thank you, Father God, for bringing us from the dark into your marvelous light. Hallelujah. Let us all stand upright. And let us be bold as lions and open our mouths. Glory be to God. And let us be a reflection of you in everything we say and what we do. Let our light so shine and that is seen and unseen before men. Let us show our good works and glorify our Father which are in heaven. If that be your will, Lord God, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven regarding any and all things. Any and all things, the marriages, the presidency, the children, the families, the churches, the finances, the ministries. Glory be to God. Lord, let your will be done in every situation. In any and all lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're so very grateful and thankful for who you are to us, for us, and in us. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. And Father God, for everything that you say that I am and I will be, I say yea and amen. 
We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise thy holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify thy holy name to God. Be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you at every being of us from our head to our toe. We love you to all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And yes, we love our neighbors as we, as we love ourselves. And we love you, Father God, because you first loved us. We love you with an everlasting love and never forsake thee. We say use this for your glory, in your glory alone. Everything that I do, my Father, is for your glory, in your glory alone. You are greatly to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. And your name is to be hallowed each and every day, all day, throughout the day. And we love you, Father God, with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we say this prayer to you, my Father. Father Yah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is our Lord and Savior, with a holy kiss. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and alleluia. Amen, amen. Let us not stop there. If you haven't given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? He laid down his life for you. He could have taken it back. He did it because he loved you so very much. And he wants that personal relationship with you. What are you waiting for? If you're truly ready to receive Jesus Christ into your life, to be your Lord and Savior, and you're going to seek him in sincerity and truth, please say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you are the only begotten Son of God, and you died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved and have the victory. Help me to study your word. Obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you're not to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations, my new brothers and sisters, to the body of Christ. And remember this. It is not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God. A commitment and love. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you. Welcome my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. May we edify one another. Pray with and pray for one another. Pray without ceasing. Fast. Bear one another's burdens. Give love and charity because they cover a multitude of sins. Congratulations again, my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. We love you and Father God loves you more. God bless you. Teach and every one of us, myself included. Please read God's word daily. That is the Holy Scripture, the Bible. Preferably the King James Version. There are many perverted versions out here right now. Please read God's word daily. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father. If you cry out to him in sincerity and truth, he'll hear your cries and he'll answer you. Not only that, he'll begin to show you the word of God. He'll teach you the word of God. You need not ask any man. There are preachers and teachers out there, but if you don't have discernment, you won't know. Okay? You have to have the spirit of discernment. So you ask the Father for it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Please read the word, his word daily. Go out on your knees in prayer and cry out to him. Father God wants that personal relationship with each and every one of his children. Do you know who we are? Do you know who we are? Please love the Lord and know who he is. 
No one for yourself. Know his love. Pure real love. Not 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 the ones that people give you and they break you and they hurt you. Real love. Alright? Father's love. Glory be to God. With that being said, again, congratulations, my new brothers and sisters, to the body of Christ. We love you and Father God loves you more. We're going to now go into our scripture reading. And today, Father God has given me Hebrews chapters 2, 3, and 4. Or 2 through 4. And we shall read them. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 2. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak? But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels, thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection unto him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him, but we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, shall taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Chapter 3. Wherefore, holy brethren, Partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our perfection, of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house, as a servant, for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ, as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end? Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today if ye will hear his voice, Harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in a day of temptation, in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, forty years. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. 
but exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Chapter 4. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached, Entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a, a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Therefore remain it therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest he also had ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We got to hold fast. Stand steadfast right to the end. Endure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that endure to the end shall be saved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. When I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. Please tell them all about Father God who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is a Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came down that begotten body. That same Holy Spirit dwells within you and I. If we seek him in sincerity and truth, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, we should hear from the Lord. And do not have aught with anyone. I don't care who it is, what he or she have done, when they have done it, you better let it go. You must forgive your fellow man as, as you want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions. You better forgive your fellow man for his sins and his transgressions. Okay? Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, reminder, your neighbor is not just the ones you live by. Everywhere you go, where you, wherever you go, that person next to you is your neighbor. So you got to respect all. You gotta, when I say respect, I'm talking about you got to love all. You don't condone sin, but you love all. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord, and that's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day from youngest to oldest alike. Children of all ages, God bless you. Bye-bye.